What's up friends? It's Tiana. Welcome to or back to my channel. For today's video, I figured that we would just sit and chill and play with some makeup. I have a couple of things in my collection that I haven't really messed around with much or that I've kind of rediscovered this past week that I want to play around with some more. So I'm thinking that I'm going to do a pastel purple eye look using this Urban Decay palette. I got this a little while ago but I haven't really messed around with it much yet so I figured that this would be the perfect time to mess around with it. But yeah, let's just get right on into the video. I'm gonna start with doing eyes first because I think I wanna use a pigment that's not in this palette and guaranteed there's gonna be fallout because when is there not fallout when you use a pigment? I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 11 Vanilla to prime my eyes. I don't own an eyeshadow primer because I find them to be completely useless in all honesty. So I always just use a concealer and I'm gonna put a solid chunk of this on. I'm just gonna use my Damp Beauty Blender to blend this in. Okay, I look like a crazy person now, but it's fine. So this is what the palette looks like. It is so stunning. This shade right here, it's like a mint green. This is what drew me to the palette in the first place, but I'm gonna be going in with this light bone shade here. This one's called Trippin. I'm gonna go in with a big fluffy eyeshadow brush and just brush this all over my lids to set the concealer in place. I think to start, I'm gonna go in with this light purple here. This one's optimized. And I'm just gonna really, really lightly run this through my crease just to get the general shape that I want and just to kind of lay something down to start working with. And I'm using a Morphe M441 brush. I'm picking up just the smallest amount to start and I'm gonna just kind of tap it. I'm not really gonna like drag it much. I'm just gonna tap just to lay it down and start creating some definition. And then once I've kind of got it started there, I'm gonna start kind of windshield wiper motioning it through my crease. I'm gonna take it a little bit above my crease as well just because I think I wanna do a halo eye. So I'd rather have a little bit more space to work with. And I'm gonna take it pretty far into my inner corner as well here. It was so funny, it was like Wednesday night and because I wanted to film this video yesterday. So Wednesday night, it's like 11 p.m. and I'm doing my skincare and I realized that I have literally no clean eyeshadow brushes. So I washed my eyeshadow brushes at like 11.30 to literally not even do this video yesterday. So that was great. Yesterday ended up being a little bit of a nightmare with school and lots of miscommunication with assignments and things like that. So that's why I'm filming this so late in the week. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the shade Cyberpunk. So this dark purple right here, and I'm gonna put this in my inner and outer corner and just really place it there. For that, I'm gonna be using a Sigma E25 blending brush. You want to take your time with this just so that you can really get a nice shape and make sure that the eyeshadow is nice and even and not patchy and it's fine if you make the outer corner here messy just because we're gonna fix it up anyways hello fedex driver thanks for being loud and interrupting my video Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the mid-toned purple here now called Warning, and I'm gonna use this to blend out the dark purple that I just placed. And I'm gonna go in with another clean Morphe M441 brush. I'm gonna blend out the top here and help make the crease a bit more seamless. So just with a really light hand, I'm gonna blend out the outer corner here as well. I'm kind of alternating between the light purple and the dark purple just to build it up some more and make sure that we're still getting that color payoff that we really want. I'm gonna go back in with the lightest purple and just place this at the very, very top of where the other eyeshadows end and just make it as seamless as possible. 
Okay, so this is the eyes so far. And to finish them off on the lid here, I'm gonna be going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Pigment in the color Daiquiri. I'm gonna cut my crease and I'm just gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer again to do that. So I'm just gonna take some and put it on the back of my hand here. I'm gonna grab this Anastasia Beverly Hills dual ended brush. I'm going to be using this bottom side here. I'm just taking a little bit of the concealer and pressing it just above where my crease is here. So I want to keep my eye open so that I can see where my crease kind of is. And I'm just going to be marking it kind of like this just as an initial guideline for me. Stamp it in kind of a circular shape like this and then I'm going to drag this down my lid. Okay, so I have a shape something like this. I find that it's better to kind of overestimate the size of where you want to put the pigment because you can always just go back in with the other eyeshadow afterwards and make the space a little bit smaller. So I always kind of just cut my crease a bit larger than I would want it to when I'm doing a halo eye like this. I'm going to be going in with the NYX Glitter Primer and I'm going to put this exactly over top of where I just put the concealer so that the pigment can really, really stick to my eyes. And I'm just going to do one eye at a time just so that the primer doesn't dry down too much. Okay, so to apply the glitter primer, I'm going to be using the Still Essentials eyeshadow brush. This is really nice and stiff, so it just works really well to apply stuff like this. And then for the pigment, I'm going to be using the Morphe M167 brush. So I'm just going to take a smidge of primer and just apply it right on to the concealer here. And I'm going to take the pigment and just press it right on. Okay, so the pigment isn't giving me the full effect that I wanted, so I'm gonna go in with the BH Cosmetics Glitter Collection Loose Glitter in the shade Baby Pink. And I'm just gonna be using the same brush that I was earlier. Okay, that is way, way more of what I wanted, so I'm really happy with how this turned out. I've gone and wiped off the excess glitter on my face, but now I'm just gonna go ahead with a cotton pad and some makeup remover and just clean up my under eyes as well as the outer corner here to sharpen it up. I'm gonna move on to the rest of my face now, and then I'll do mascara and lashes and brows and all that later. Okay, so to prime today, I'm gonna go in with the usual, which is my Benefit Professional on my nose in the center of my forehead. And then for the rest of my face today, I'm gonna be using my Too Faced Hangover Primer. I wanna use a stick foundation today, so I need to make sure that I have a really, really nice moisturized base or else the foundation can look a little bit dry. So this is perfect for that. So just going in with my professional down the center of my nose here and then down the sides and then just in the center of my forehead as well. And then with my hangover primer, just putting this everywhere else on my face. I always forget how much I love this stuff until I use it again and then I just fall back in love with it over and over again. And I love, love, love the smell of this. And then I'm also gonna go in with my Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid in the shade Light and highlight my face with this. I'm gonna put quite a bit of this on today just since the eyes are so extreme and I kind of want the rest of my face to match as well. And just to be a bit extra today, I'm gonna put some on my chin as well, cause why the heck not? Okay, so I rediscovered this foundation earlier this week and fell back in love with it and forgot why I even stopped using it in the first place. But anyways, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in the shade Cool Beige. So I have it in this color here. So I'm gonna be using the Luxie 534 Angled Top buffer brush and then I'm just gonna go ahead and do a couple of swipes of the foundation on my cheek here and then blend it out.
Okay, and then for concealer on my face, I'm once again using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And then I'm also going to use my Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C2. So with the Makeup Revolution Concealer, I'm going to place this on my chin, my jawline here, center of my forehead, and then right in the center of my under eyes as well. And then my Fit Me, I'm going to place kind of around the corners of my nose here, down the bridge of it, and then on this lovely friend that I have that decided to show up. How kind. And I'm going to be using my Damp Beauty Blender to blend this all in. Then I'm also adding the Maybelline Fit Me inner corners of my eyes and then right on the outer edge there as well. Now that I've let the concealer over my spot here sit a little bit, I'm going to blend that out. I'm really just tapping it in place and doing this is going to make sure that it's providing as much coverage as possible and that's why I also like to let it sit there for a little bit just so that the coverage can build up a bit. All right, and skin is all blended out. I'm gonna set my under eyes with this e.l.f. translucent mousse powder and my dry beauty blender. I'm gonna really just stamp it in. I find that this is like the only way that my under eyes don't crease like crazy. And I'm just applying it in the same shape that I applied the concealer. And I'm just gonna brush this off with a Bare Minerals Seamless Shaping and Finish Brush. Okay, now that my under eyes are set, I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in the shade Fawn to Cream Contour. So just under my jaw here, under my lips, my nose, forehead, and cheekbones. And I'm gonna blend this out with my Wet Beauty Blender as well. For my nose, I'm going to be going in with my Pure Cosmetics Concealer Brush, just so that I can blend it out a lot more precisely. Alright, to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Peach Blur Powder. And I'm just going to use a big fluffy powder brush. I'm just kind of tap it onto my skin. To finish covering up my little blemish that I have here, I'm going to go in with the Bare Minerals Concealer in the shade Well Rested, and I'm going to apply this with this tiny little brush here. Just take the smallest amount and just tap it right on to the spot. This is my key to covering up blemishes. This does wonders for it. And then for bronzer today, I'm going to be using my Milani Illuminating Face Powder in the shade Amber Nectar. And I'm going to be using this on my Still Essentials Blusher Brush and really just patting it right onto my skin. Alright, for powder contour today, I'm going to be going in with my Charlotte Tilsbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. Mine's in the fair medium shade, so I'm just going to take the contour. And I'm just going to use my Real Techniques contour brush and take the smallest amount of this because this is so pigmented and use this to contour my cheekbones and really just tapping it into the skin in little circular motions. And then to finish contouring my nose, I'm just going to be using the same brush as earlier and I'm just placing the powder contour exactly where I placed the cream contour. For highlighter today, I totally thought that this was discontinued, so I went and looked on the Sephora website before filming this, but it's not. They still have this. This is the Becca highlighter in the shade Prismatic Amethyst, and it's this gorgeous light purple color, and I used to be obsessed with this when I first got it. And then since it's a purple, I just never reach for it, but I love this stuff so much, and I'm just going to be using this on my Kala highlighting brush. Look at that glow. It's so, so stunning. I'm 
I'm gonna also use this to highlight my inner corners and my brow bones. I'm just taking it on a Real Techniques detailer brush. I'm taking it a little bit further up in my inner corner just to really, really highlight it there. And then for blush today, I'm gonna to be going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio in the shade Pool Party and using Pageant in the middle here. And I'm gonna take this on my Bare Minerals blush brush. I always like to apply my blush after my highlighter just so then it can help blend out my highlighter a bit more. And I love putting it on the tip of my nose. All right, I'm gonna finish up the eyes quickly. I'm gonna go back in with the shade Cyberpunk and drag this along my lower lash line. And I'm just gonna use the same Sigma brush that I used earlier for it. Just to be nice and extra, I'm gonna go ahead and add some of the BH Cosmetics glitter on my lower lash line as well. So I'm literally just gonna take whatever's left over on the brush from before and just press that. Okay, so the eyeshadow is all done. I think it's so, so pretty. I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Cosmetics Waterproof Gel Eyeliner and tightline my upper waterline with this. And you know what? I'm gonna be extra and line my lower waterline with this as well. For mascaras, I'm gonna be using the Usuals, which are the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara and the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Okay, so for lashes today, I think I'm going to use the Lily Lashes Opulence Lashes. They're just really big and long and fluffy, but they're not too over the top, which I know for this look I could do over the top, but I kind of want to let the eyeshadow speak for itself and just have the lashes there and not draw too much attention away from the eyeshadow. So this is the before. And this is the after. I love these lashes, especially for how large they are. Like they're a lot bigger than ones that I would normally wear. But they're so, so comfortable to wear throughout the day. Like I love wearing these. Okay, so for brows today, I'm just gonna be using my usual combo, which is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 4.5 and Benefit Gimme Brow also in the shade 4.5. I'm gonna go ahead and brush through my eyebrows with the spoolie. I like to outline the top of my brows first, and then I go in and I do the bottom. And then I just draw in little hair-like strokes. Okay, I'm gonna brush them out with the spoolie that's on the other end of the brow pencil. And I'm gonna outline my brows using Tarte Shape Tape in the shade 16N, Fair Light Neutral, and just a flat concealer brush. and then I'm gonna go in with Gimme Brow and brush my eyebrows out. And I like to brush them upwards a little bit and then kind of out near the tail. All right, and then lastly for lips, I'm gonna use my MAC Pro Longwear Lip Pencil in the shade Staunchly Stylish to line my lips. And then I'm going to go in with my MAC Velvet Teddy Lipstick. I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Buxom Lip Gloss in the shade White Russian just to add a little bit of shine to my lips. They feel, I feel like they're looking a little too matte for my liking. I'm just putting a little bit in the center here. And then to set everything in place, I'm going to be going in with the Glam Glow Glow Setter Makeup Setting Spray. 
All right, and this is the finished makeup look. I am so, so happy with how this turned out. I think the eyes are so, so stunning and they just really pop against everything else. And I definitely rediscovered some old favorites in my collection, which I am really, really happy about. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as it really helps me out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, love you. Thank you.